in mixed martial arts is about to unfold. For the first time ever in Asia, the Super Fight League brings an all-new team format. Join us as we take you inside the SFL Bootcamp, where the best fighters from around the country have gathered to prepare for the toughest competition of their lives. fan involvement when you when you involve the teams uh, simply because you can follow your team and as they pull in new fighters and you know you can get team pride and I, I appreciate the scoring system that they have as well it uh, really makes the event interesting I really, I, I believe that learning people's name is, you know, shows that you respect them. But some of these names are hard to learn. I like the translations. Like a lot of, I guess a lot of Indian names mean mean things. Like uh, Akash means sky, so that he's the sky captain world of tomorrow. Uh, the kid that screams all the time, I just call him drama. Um, the real small guy, uh, Smurf, and um, Daisy, Daisy Dukes. Here I find out a very nice environment. I found the people very motivated and I'm pretty happy with the, to, to help these guys into their journey into MMA, into get professional, to get into the international level. Indians have had a issue mostly till date with the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and uh, what we felt is a proper knowledge of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is something that they really need so we brought in Ivan and Ivan is a decorated BJJ guy, everybody knows that. My program was to give the guys the real basic Jiu-Jitsu. That is what they consider is needed into the MMA. You don't need any special guard or whatever. Until you know how to take him down, pass a guard and keep a position, ground and pound and basic submissions, you already knew most of the Jiu-Jitsu you need for MMA. And make them sparring and sparring and sparring and try their game, try their, their new techniques, how they work for them and everything. So every country has their attribute that makes them that is special about the fighters from those countries. Americans have wrestling, you know, the Dutch have kickboxing, the Brazilians have jiu-jitsu, the Japanese have hybrid jiu-jitsu. The biggest attribute that I've noticed from the Indian fighters is that they all have great cardio. Even the guys that seem out of shape have wonderful cardio that they can, they can just keep going and going and going. That is a wonderful attribute to have for the sport of MMA because everybody gets tired and you know, fatigue makes cowards of men, so if you can, if you can stay in better shape and, and have more energy for longer, you're going to be doing well in your fights. So what we need to improve is like to make the boxer a wrestler, the wrestler a boxer, and everybody into the jiu-jitsu and everything, so that's, that's the job. They're not just competing with, with the guys locally, they're going to be competing with world-class fighters from around the world, and they're trying to make things happen for themselves but you can tell the difference with the ones that really want it, the guys that are hungry, that are in here, they stay late, they come early. Those are the guys I'm looking for. We are basically looking for skillful characters. So uh, it depends on how the camp progresses. We'll pick out uh, good characters and good guys who have skills to back up that character. And uh, we need the fans to support this. We need the fans to be as loyal as they've been over the years. Follow each fighter, give us, give us a call, give us a follow wherever you can on all media platforms. Yeah, so we are going to see by the season starting if these guys will be enough uh, prepared to face international guys. But from the motivation I see from the guys and the, all the efforts they're putting on the mat, I think they can do a good job. <laughs> 